Journey to Master begins. Good luck. All right, I go first. Let's stick with Old Faithful here. Um, center file rook. Let's go. So this is going to be, yeah, even a greater challenge than I thought. Um, I realized my opponent did outrate me. This is the tourney to master uh, event. So um, I did give some thought to whether I want to switch my opening back to fourth file rook because Shogi Harbor is providing uh, lessons on that opening. And I think now is not the right time for me to switch. Um, so we're going to continue playing this and deal with whatever complications we encounter. That's the plan, and we're going to stick with it. I did see um, yesterday and or this morning, depending where you are, uh, Muranaka released a video uh, of him playing the fourth file rook with uh, Reclining Silver, and that looked interesting too. Um, and I know that Kektar does play this, so perhaps that's a Joseki I could consider as well. But I would not like to try... Well, I would like to try it in a game against somebody one Don or somewhere in my rating range. I'm not exactly looking forward to trying out a new opening against um, an opponent. I don't know. I mean, it would be a good learning experience regardless, but it's probably best I try that against somebody closer to my rating first. All right. Um... So I'm trying to remember. I think it's fine that I step my king over. As long as I don't lift up the silver, I think I'm okay doing this. Usually, well, one of two things happens. Either this tension just stays here for a while, or uh, this diagonal gets closed by the opponent. Uh, so, I'm trying to remember, is this an occasion where I'm forced to play the gold up? Um, I'm not sure. It might behoove me to push my center pawn now. Uh, at this point, my king is positioned to defend that if it suddenly comes under attack. So, yeah. Um... We're both castling the same direction. This is exciting. I don't know, I've had a similar game. I did, well, I looked at it with an engine, but um, I think this is still fine, actually. And the resolution is that if these bishops exchange, um, this square, uh, 7, 7, is still a good space for my bishop. Um, let's see, right now there aren't any holes in my position. And often it's de detrimental to push some of these pawns if I've not made time to castle. Uh... 
I'm waiting here for the boat to be completed. Okay, so I see we're not completing Boat Castle. Um, Trying to remember how best to handle this. I want to continue castling. This gets into like some of these side pawn picker stuff, um, but I think it's fine. Yeah, let's continue castling. I think this is okay. I think at this point, uh, I think I moved the gold up to support the square in front of the bishop. So I think this is still making an effective use of my pieces. Dismiss Discord. OBS looks okay. Yeah, OBS is capturing part of the window. All right. Still missing the right scroll bar, but that's okay. So, yeah, what I'm considering is that this knight here is exposed. Um, right. And my thought was that if a bishop drop happens back here, um, I chase after my opponent's rook and everything's fine. Uh, let's be a little careful. So if I do gold takes to sidestep this fork. Oh, they do a pawn drop. So yeah, that's not really feasible. So I have to do this. And against this bishop drop, I thought everything's fine if I just drop a pawn on the rook's head. Or if I even put my bishop here. Um, if I put my bishop here, bishop takes. I'm threatening their rook. I'm confused. I am so confused because... I mean, in addition to this bishop drop, just simply protecting my silver, I can trap their bishop and win it for a gold? Um, huh. Well, 
Well, if I bishop drop and they take my rook. Yeah, that's complicated. Well, where does their horse go? Oh, it escapes here next. And I don't have a way to trap it from there. I can drop a rook here and take their knight. But no, they defend the knight. Um, I'll maybe take here. Silver takes. Yeah, I out of tactics there. Um, even so, this is surprising. Because, as best as I can tell, this bishop is still trapped by my rook. And yes, they can drop a pawn to win my silver, but I can cover this square and hit the rook. I'm missing something. I move the rook, if rook takes silver, gold takes. They can drop a silver to fork my... Well, then I take the bishop. The silver does not defend the bishop. Yeah, I'm confused. Where's the tactic? So I can move my silver to hit their rook, too. Um, okay, gold takes, knight takes, they promote. Hmm. Yeah, this is a little tricky, isn't it? I was considering a pawn drop here. Um, so I could give back a silver in exchange for the bishop I collected. Um, like, if I drop a bishop, they take my rook, I take the rook, they take my silver. I put a bishop on this diagonal with tempo. Hitting this gold, hitting the lance. They put something somewhere with tempo, presumably. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, my plan A was to move the silver here. They take it. My rook takes. And okay, yeah, they promote on either square. Um, that doesn't quite work as well as I thought. What do I do? Oh wait, if I take this, rook takes, I could move, drop a gold to defend my rook. That's a really heavy way to defend it. And it allows the rook to go uh, sideways on this board. I can't cover everywhere that the rook can go. Or can I?
Wait. Um, material balance right now is I've got three generals. They have five. If I give up another general, they've got six, and I have two. I need to not forget to count the generals as much as I like the big pieces. Um, I'm still trying to find some way to justify sacking my rook. Because if they're gold here, if I get my bishop here, I'm hitting this lance. If I'll have a silver, they're able to trap my lance. So unless I can get two bishops on this diagonal at the same time, that's a problem for me. Um, I don't see a way to get both bishops there. Well, this is still not tragic. Because <sighs> I can collect the knight and the token, or the token I could drop and hit the knight and then collect the lance. Uh, they do get substantial material. It is quite a mess here. It could be worse. I'm split between possibilities. Oh, I could just move the rook, gold takes, and bishop drop here. Uh, hits the gold, hits this lance. They don't have to defend the lance, but it does hit the rook too, but yeah, that's not great either. Yeah, if I move the rook, that's probably best. Even though this rook seemingly has no future right now. And seemingly be a target to a silver drop right there. Hmm. I think this is my best option. And then I have this fork. My knight protects my bishop. And then I offer a rook exchange. They accept this rook exchange, as do I. <sighs> so now I'm attacking toward their castle. So I've given a tempo in order to not suffer heavily material-wise. Um... I'm considering a bishop drop here next to the other bishop, encasing the rook, but also threatening to take the lance and threatening a rook drop to follow, where I just keep smashing the castle over and over. Um, that's plan A. It'd be nice to have a plan B, wouldn't it? Um... Trying to trap the rook is not going to go well. This <sighs> is 
So if bishop dropped, they could like hit one of my bishops and I can't escape all their attacks at once. Um I admit some confusion here. So they might offer a silver here. And then I retreat my bishop back, defending my other bishop. Starting to line up this attack on the diagonal and pin this silver to the lance. What the heck? Why is this making noise? Mm. Alright, so I could consider taking the silver or just run like heck to defend my other bishop. Uh, or put a gold down to hit the rook. Which is way too heavy and unwarranted here. Um, so I should withdraw. And the idea is I'm going to come back later with other pieces to harass this castle. Hopefully I have time to do that. So material balance is that I have a bishop, they have a silver. And I didn't feel like exchanging them back, but now they're going to get a dragon but this dragon doesn't seem very useful. <sighs> but I think my bishops on this diagonal are nicely uh, located here. And my idea is to push my fourth foul pawn and evict the silver so that I can take the lance. Of course, they can move their rook back to try to defend this. Um, and of course, they're going to pawn drop right on my bishop's head, which is super annoying. But um, I tried. But also, yeah, this pawn... Well, I'm sorry, if I use the rook to hit it, they'll just push the pawn. I could sack a rook for it, but what good is that? Um... Better would be if I had some way to smash this castle, sacking the rook for the silver or something crazy like that. Yeah, they retreat. Preparing the pawn drop. Um... So I could put my ideas of trying to use a pawn to win this knight. Those are now no longer possible. Um, I'm going to plug this file. And yes, they can pawn drop behind my pawn, and that's annoying, and there's nothing I could have done about it, but uh, this dragon is not as scary as it looks. And even if they do pawn drop here, like... 
What's the pawn going to do? It's not promoted. So I think possibly both of us got over eager in this opening. If I try to harass this, it actually just retreats. Now that I think a little bit clearly about this. Uh, so what do I do? <laughs> calm down for one, right? Yeah, calming down is probably not a terrible idea. Um... Hmm. So I've made room for my gold to go behind this pawn. Also, I've blocked my bishop that could have used this other diagonal. That was not so bright. Hmm. Well, it's got another diagonal it can use. This could be worse. Also, if they do pawn drop, they can't block against a rook drop, so... This pawn drop would be still ill-advised. Eventually there will come a point where I snap this... Well, snapping the silver here is not so smart. I would love to, but I don't think I can afford to. Not unless I have some way to promote any of my pieces. Yeah, so this is kind of a hollow threat. Gold would be a nice attacking piece, but hmm. yeah, I don't know where to go. A gold does not uh, usually constitute a good attacking piece. It's good for that checkmate, the tail end of a combination, but it's not good for starting any attack. Um, oh, could I just put my rook behind the pawn and start pushing it? Like, is there something preventing that? Not that I see. Also, if I just put the gold here, what do they do? Like, silver, pawn, gold, or silver, gold, yeah. I don't see what they do to stop my ridiculously high gold from attacking. Um, I get that usually a gold's not the attacking piece. Well, in fact, yeah, here they just plug the file in front of their rook. That's one way about it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm confused. I'm so confused. We're making room for the knight. Also for maybe for the bishop here. I haven't really made up my mind yet. But yeah, if I start trying to push down this file, they're just going to stick a pawn 
there and move the dragon elsewhere. So that's why I can't shove this down the file. Um, Okay. That vacates a square on their back rank. Thirty Okay, we're going to try my crazy idea. I'm trying to op just apply pressure straight down the second file. Okay. Let's continue. Just limiting the scope of the dragon. I guess I missed this pawn push, gold takes, dragon takes, rook drop. Probably should have read that out a bit, but I think if my rook defends the gold and I'm not hanging some other tactic, I think I'm okay. But also, I think I could just push up my... Well, no, if the gold climbs, they move their silver. This is not so easy. So yeah, I think I do need to take the pawn. Um, and then if they move up the silver, I just go back. Or I take the silver. Not sure. Or I drop my rook. Yeah. Uh, I think this is fine. So if we exchange rooks again, I think my king with this half Mino is safer than their king in this transitional castle. We'll see. I've got half Mino, they've got like half boat. <laughs> we'll see how these fare. All right. So if I drop the rook, they might take this pawn. This gets a little complicated. Or I could retreat the gold. They move the rook somewhere, and God knows where we end up. But we have mater equal pieces in hand. Or if I move the gold back, they move the rook forward. Um.
I think the rook exchange is right here. And yeah, I think it's okay if I let them munch all my pawns. Uh, yeah, so... I think this is all fine. And there's places for my rook to drop either on the first or second rank. I'm okay sacrificing um, a gold for a silver. Okay. Um, that's interesting. That's tactical. Guess I have to respond to it. Um, Sanjudio I guess what I should have accounted for is this knight moving up, and my rook moves over, and that's not great. Or if the knight moves up and I take the pawn, um, that's also not great. Um, Because then they've dropped another pawn on my rook's head. My rook is oppressed. Oh dear. Well, that's exciting. Um... Hmm. Yeah, the rook is going to chop a lot of pawns at this point, isn't it? This is not a great square for my knight. Yeah, I'd expected them to put the rook right in front of the pawn and then sack it somewhere. But that doesn't work, does it? If they put this in front of the pawn and then follow this knight move, I thought they could force something. But maybe they don't have time for the knight move if my gold sidesteps. Maybe I just barely had everything covered? I'm not sure. Yeah, so this is the more... Reasonable continuation. Um, where now their dragon starts taking stuff. Sanjudio.
40秒。I admit to being a bit confused. My top priority is stuff Sabaki the Rook, if I'm able to. So I need to promote it and then come back and make sure I haven't dropped both of my bishops in the meantime. Um, somehow my dragon seems to defend everything, which is dubious, but somehow seems to work anyway. Oh, if they promote the spawn, my rook takes and then they fork, but then I can move the rook up and promote to defend this. Yeah. So I think I pull the gold back, and if they promote the pawn, I take the dragon. Uh, and they... Yeah, I think I still have everything just barely covered. Oh, wait, if a rook exchange occurs here... Yeah, that's kind of fatal, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah, suddenly all of my things are hanging. I think that's fine, though. Um... And start liquidating everything. So yeah, we're finally prone to a fork. But my opponent can only take one of my pieces at a time. Um... Hmm. I admit I'm having tremendous difficulty trying to evaluate all this. But I just want to press an attack toward the king. Okay, so yeah, my I'm dropping both bishops here, aren't I? Uh, okay. We'll find a way to make this work. Sanjubio. Um, yeah, I don't like that I have to retreat my bishop. Hmm. Sanjubio. This is pretty bad.
I'm not seeing how to make effective use of my bishop where it's at, nor am I seeing a way to crack this castle, despite there being holes. Like, if I put a gold down, it doesn't get anywhere. Uh, um... Oh, that's clever. Um, well, we'll make an, a bid to activate my bishop here. And get my pieces toward my opponent's king. I guess he can put another pawn right there, can't he? <laughs> uh, but I was thinking I put a pawn here, then I promote it, and I'm hitting this silver. Like, yes, I'm a thousand miles away from attacking, but um, that's still a distance. A thousand miles is better than a million miles. So let's take what we... Let's take a half, glass half-full attitude toward this. Um, San <sighs> I think the problem with that is you could just put a pawn back here. And I'm struggling to see anything I can do about it. Um, like, I could drop a gold here, they drop something else to defend their silver. That's not a good way to use my gold. Um, I was considering pushing the pawn, and now they've, like, unblocked my rook. And... Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's take the lance. Maybe somehow a lance benefits us on this file, hitting this pawn. Maybe the Lance benefits us on the fourth file here. Well, now they can... Well, they don't have any pawns to drop. Um, but otherwise, they could drop a pawn. Hmm. Our bishop will forever be a target. Well, I can promote it fairly easily, actually. <sighs> I don't understand this move. I'm very confused. Um, I mean, yes, in general, your attack makes sense, but um, it makes sense for me to have my bishop. Hmm. Like, 
A horse in defense is a very nice piece. I don't understand. Like, yes, he is approaching my castle. But this castle is somewhat hard. Maybe they just missed bishop takes pawn, but that's kind of amazing. I think they're more focused on how do they crack my castle. And they are making good headway on that. But um, I get to attack also. So, okay, yeah, they take my knight. Uh, knight's a useful attacking piece. My bishop is not super useful where it's at. Um, Hmm. We're going to sack this because I don't see a good use for it. It makes more, it's more valuable to me to have this rook exposed on the first rank than it is for me to have this um, token. Um. Gradually, we still approach the castle. It's a long, long, long distance away, but with some imagination, maybe someday we'll make it there. Um, hmm. What's the idea? How does he gain a tempo from this? Oh, I see one way. Not sure if that's what he had in mind, but... I'm so confused. I don't like that. I want to take this, but also it just accelerates his attack if I take it. I need every tempo I can get here. Oh goodness, I'm so sorry. Uh, wow. That was a strange, strange game. Uh... 
<sighs> yeah, that was pretty wild. Uh, so this is Turney to Master. Uh, but still, we're going to continue in our tradition of... Um, uh, let's see. So our tradition of post-game analysis... Hmm. How am I going to deal with this? How do I? Well, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to follow the latest. Oh, we're going back to 63 here. Yeah, this is sharp stuff. Um, yeah, okay, let's turn off emote only mode. But... Oh, there's the follow up. Okay. Wow. Yes. I did wonder how my opponent managed to materialize a castle out of not very much here. This is how. Uh... Oh, bummer. Wish I'd seen this during... Uh... Yeah, this is interesting. Um, so how do I, well, okay, yeah, that's, oh, I still have the knight here, because the king is still there, okay, um, hmm, yeah, so this is the, one of the weaknesses of the boat castle this particular 4-4 four, four square. Um, now... Huh. What am I missing? Something up here, I wonder? Um... Well, yeah, here there's the night drop, but um, I wonder maybe this. Oh, shit. No, this thing. Never mind. Um, yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, this, this would have been nice. Okay, so I was not completely crazy. Uh, yeah, this was a very severe attack after all. Um, especially because my opponent only has pawns in hand, so, like, it's difficult for them to continue constructing the castle without much in hand. Um, oh, Pawn Hub still likes taking this. And if Silver takes, then we sack the other bishop, because there's still the knight fork. That, yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Okay. That is cool. So, yeah, they have to make way. Oh, goodness. Oh, me, oh, my. This is very forcing. Um, now, maybe that last variation, crazy as it looks, might be survivable. But that's, that's still, yeah, not what you want to have happen in your game. Um, okay. Jeez. So yeah, the king is locked in place defending the uh, gold on 4-1. So there's not a whole lot that can be done about this. Um, wow. I guess this, yeah, taking the pawn... 
It makes a great deal more sense than what happened in the game. Oh, goodness. Well, that's embarrassing. That would have been really nice to spot in the game. Pawn Hub knows a lot of stuff, but also he's... Well, he's got experience. Um, so he can read combinations. Yeah, that is nice. Um... Yeah, I think at the end position of the game where my opponent had suggested if they'd done a gold drop instead, uh, I think, yeah, they would have been better in that position. Um, oh, here? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, This looks much safer um, because, yeah, they've defended both against my knight and against my dragon. So almost all of my attack has evaporated at this point. I spent much of the game trying to escalate this tension. Um, and we did that, and it was exciting, but um, yeah... I, I whiffed at the critical moment. If I'm going to play this super sharp style, I've got to manage my time better. Um, hmm. Oh, so yeah, they're thinking maybe silver one, two. Um, let's just set that on the board. I don't have any objection to it. Uh, so, I like taking pieces. I have a very strong pro-taking pieces bias. But here, uh, probably makes sense not to give me a knight beyond the knight I already have. Um, I wish I could find a way to trap the king, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, what? Are you... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, that looks sharp. Um. Yeah, this is going to force knights off. So, yeah, the king... It makes more sense to run the king while you still can... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. That's a nice idea of how to attack here seems pretty reasonable. Um, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Can we do something crazy here? Can we have some fun? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I guess the defensive move makes some sense. Uh... Yeah. So, yeah, apparently um, putting both bishops on that long diagonal made it an extremely contentious part of the board. <laughs> um, uh, oh. game uh yeah sorry he had to leave we could continue analysis here it's fine um 
Um, well, uh, it's okay. I'd uh, like to start from the beginning. All of the end game was quite exciting. Uh, so, yeah, sorry I don't have any of those aliases defined for the chatbot. Uh, variants are quite interesting. Um, I guess we'll take this from the beginning of the game. Um, so this is sharp step. Obviously there's some move order finesse, whatever to work on. I'll have to study this deeper. Uh, okay, a pawn eight six is fine. Um, yeah, this is exciting. So there's like stuff like this, and I don't know. Um, hmm. It looks sharp, but I'm not convinced it's great. Uh, but yeah, in any event, this is what we ended up with. Uh, this surprised me a bit, but it looks fun. Um, so, yeah, here... Uh, gosh. The only way to gain advantage from this is that you need to have my pawn. Oh! Okay. So, I guess what I played was just busted, and my opponent correctly refuted it. Alright. Um... So, yeah, this, yeah, let's see. Uh, so, like, here, well, here it's too late. Uh, I guess, like, here or something. And then if I play this, play that. Uh, okay, so this evidently is Joseki. Oh, hang on. Uh, Pawn Hub doesn't... Oh, okay. So it's fine to play this here. And in this case, we take... And is this it here? No, oh! Oh my goodness, wow. Okay. That is cool. Yeah. You did uh, show me something similar uh, in earlier week, if I recall. Uh, yeah, no, this this idea is pretty huge. Pawn Hub knows the trick. Yeah, this is good. Um. Okay, so yeah, I need to put the pawn on 5-5 five five for this to be sound. Otherwise, I'm just playing with fire. Um, uh, so even if somehow this game I escaped alive, uh, and I'm not sure that I should have. Um, it does not mean that this was okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, wait, why did I do this? I had an idea. Oh, this is funny. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, yes, this is playable. Yeah. 
they don't have time for silver. Six five. <laughs> Oh dear, wow. That's embarrassing. So yeah, what I was afraid of was like this, this sort of stuff. But no, like, I've got this. Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, so yeah, they need to defend here right away. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point... I've gotten lucky. Um, but yeah, a pawn 5-5 five five needed to be played earlier. I see. My mistake. Oh yeah, I guess even now it could still be played. Yep, yep, yep. That's interesting how pawn 5-5 five five and then pawn 5-4 opens up this center file for me to do drops on 5-3. And otherwise attack the castle in ways that I couldn't do in the game. Uh, so yeah, this is nice. Um, so yeah, this I guess was pretty sketchy. Um... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> if my strange attack made uh, spectators confused. Um, yeah, so I was looking at this, and this is kind of what I was thinking. Um... Not sure how playable that is. Oh goodness, another candidate move. All right, yeah, that's way more patient than what I had in mind. Um. Huh. Well, yeah, it's hard to trick old Pawn Hub here. <laughs> nice. Calming down in the middle of this was pretty hard to do. It didn't really happen until I got a lost position. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, I think uh, so this was correct in a final position. That gold, uh, eight, nine, eight, one, eight, one, uh, was good for him. Um, not sure what other things I missed. Uh, but yeah, the bishop takes four, four. Sacrifice would have been so good. Um, uh, So, yeah, that was an adventure and a half. Uh, so that marks our first game in the tourney to master. Um, yeah, I probably deserved to lose that game for my opening play, middle game play, and end game play. Um, but we kept the game going somehow and got lucky. Um, that wasn't my intent. But, yeah, um, yeah, instead of, yes, right, yeah, I didn't see both bishops hanging until too late, uh, I saw that I was going to lose at least one, but, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. on the first rank and um, knight in hand 
uh, yeah, this this was really cool. Um, so yeah, I'll have to remember all that. Um, previously, I've seen. Um, Threats uh, uh, on the other side of the boat. Um, it's like over here. I've seen stuff like here with that. Um, but yeah, here clearly there's a deficiency on this center side of the boat. Um, yeah. Speed is very nice against the boat castle because it forces them to take time defending. Um, yeah, just don't do bishop takes on 1-1 one, because one, then you get the bishop trapped and there's no way to escape it. Um, so, yeah, crazy awesome win in round one of Tourney to Master. I did not anticipate this. Um, and I, I don't know, I apologize to my opponent for this. Like, yes, we both did play well, but that's not how either of us had expected the game to end. Um, so, yeah, very hard fought game. Uh, I'll have to study uh, the opening Joseki a bit better. Make sure I get that pawn 5-5 five five in. And look more at the pawn 5-4 idea where like this diagonal gets revealed and the center starts collapsing for their boat. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Works in the end game to sacrifice pieces for speed. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah, folks sure love um, studying. So whether that's practicing sume or reading up on opening stuff, um, I've been trying to catch Shogi Harbor's uh, content because uh, getting a pro player or ladies pro player uh, commenting on um, this really exciting stuff is great. It's you can find good content, especially with Moranaka and Yamaguchi on YouTube as well. But yeah, this sharp stuff, man. Um, so wouldn't that have been so nice if I just uh, where was it? It was like all over the place that I missed. Oh yeah, here especially. Yeah, so this they say in. Um, in your post-game analysis, make the good moves. Like, physically move them on the board. Don't just watch it. And this way it'll be more memorable. And with a chess book and a chess board, I used to do the same thing to make things more memorable. Let's actually play it out. So, yeah. Definitely. This would have been really cool. Uh, and again, the key notion here is that this is defended only once. Uh, and this is kind of the anchor that holds the castle together. So, yeah, having this fall would have been so, so great. Um, wow, what a game. What an exciting game.